Did y'all just see what? Did y'all just see them episodes of Invincible? Invincible is not to be fucked with under any circumstance. Anybody who has the slightest critique of this show, get off the video right now. Get off. Because I do not want to talk to you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want the comments down there. You should still feel like you are on the best high ever in your life after that finale. You know what I'm saying? Like, the bet, like don't smoke kids. But, but you feel me? You feel me. Like, you don't got to be high to be doing drugs. Like, just a high. Like, welcome. Do you be high? You know what I'm saying? You should be feeling good after that finale. It was out of control. Everything you wished for happened in this show. And they ended it off beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Ah, niggas should bow down to them niggas right now, bruh. This is one of the best first seasons of any show ever, and I will fight anybody who thinks otherwise. Do not walk up to me at no dream con or in real life saying it's not because we're gonna say, What's up? Right, post it up, post it up, post it up, what's up? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, mm -mm. and if you get to hit me, if you, I'm gonna say, ha, ha, I ate that shit, what's up? And I'm gonna keep going. You, up, you don't wanna fight me. It's like, you know, you know, niggas in there being like in the fields and stuff, like the, the cowboy ass niggas. You ever fought a cowboy ass nigga? Like, them niggas do not give up. Like, they fight under any circumstance. That's how I'm gonna fight if you talk about this show. Now, now that that's done, I want you to leave this video if you have not seen Invincible because there is about to be spoilers all throughout this video. But if you don't mind spoilers, I will try to keep them to a small minimum, but uh, there will be spoilers. So please go check out the show. And if you haven't seen it, you can leave, leave a comment, be like, I don't watch the show, but we all love RDC. <laughs> and leave a like and stuff, all right? Nah, let's get into the show, man. So right off the bat, one of the best things about Invincible is that it goes against the grain. Every show that goes against the grain is already a top show. Like, if you do not do things that all the other shows do, like uh, keeping this character alive just because of uh, plot and all that stuff, when, they, when you do that, you're a top show. Uh, think Game of Thrones, think Attack on Titan, think nigga, Invincible. Think Invincible. That's already, like, a beautiful start to the show. Because at the very beginning of the show, first episode, here's a spoiler. Give me your time. Niggas better be, oh, shit. Count to 10 at the first episode. You know what I'm saying? It, it kind of looked like a regular show. You know, Mark doesn't have his powers. We already know he's going to get his powers most likely. And the show kind of is just like a regular show. They modeled it off the, it seemed like the Justice League. Um, and Omni Man is shown saving people. Then at the end of that episode, after the credits even, or like right after the whole episode kind of ended, everybody gets called to a spot and you're like, oh, what are they going to do? Some training stuff? Omni Man. Hmm. Try to steal somebody. Run out the back is what? He's like, what's going on? They obviously training. That's what I thought. I thought they were training. Then, Omni Man starts giving every single person <sighs> the worst ass whooping of their life. Actually, the last ass whooping of their life because they, <laughs> they, they don't fall. He start beating everybody to death and it's just it's literally shocking my mouth the whole time was dropped like a cartoon. I was just like, I, I feel like if you watch that show at like 3 a.m. and you, you sleepy, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and then you get to that part, you say, mouth drop, cue the cartoon thing. Like, bro, it's out of control. Like, it, it's crazy, and I, I love that about Invincible because even after that first episode, you would think that the show goes down. It has like. Uh, like uh, the like the smallest slow moments, but it's just story building, and and the story building was incredible to me. I feel like I was never bored in any of the episodes. It was just something I wanted to see. I was interested in every character, and that's another uh, thing I want to talk about in Invincible is their character development and their characters in general. Like how interested I am in each one of the characters. Uh, Mark is very interesting. Uh, Adam Eve is interesting. The Mauler twins. They're interesting, and all for different reasons. All of them got storylines. They're all trying to accomplish something, bro. Like, uh, you know, the Marla twins, the whole show. Like, he kills a twin. He's like, bro, what the fuck? He is? He's he shady like that. Rebuilds them back, and then you find out that they're really good with technology. Um, you find out that Adam Eve just wants to save the world. She don't want to be a part of the Guardians of the Globe. Um, you find out that the second Guardians of the Globe are actually all ass. Like, they're not good at all. The Guardians of the Globe, the second ones, are not good. I don't understand why they got picked to be the Guardians of the Globe. You're telling me there's no other heroes that y'all could have seen. You know what I'm saying? Because on the finale, 
when Marcus getting his ass beat, all them niggas say, yeah, we gotta stay put, uh, cause Omni Man that nigga. Now, I understand he that nigga, but the old Guardians would at least have went over there and tried to fight him. These new Guardians, I understand they used to be the team club or whatever, but like, bro, actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna critique them because if I was a superhero, I too would have been at the house like, Damn, he is whooping his son's ass, and I am not going to help under no circumstances. Or I would, and if niggas call me, I'm going to say, oh, I'm helping this lady get her purse back. It don't matter. I'm lying every time. I don't care what's going on. Cecil can't call me and tell me to go help for nothing. That Omni Man is crazy. He's crazy. He was ruthless the entire finale. The whole finale, he was ruthless. He put Mark's head, he raised it up, put Mark's head on a train a train was coming he killed every single passenger on that train holding mark to sit there and really feel all their blood all their guts on him and see that look humanity is weak and we are stronger and i'm your daddy like bro all those things he made mark realize in that 10 seconds he was holding his head like this against them and then he was killing other nc people in front of mark and it's that's just crazy to me bro like that's I, that's out of line. And I love a show when I can say words. Like, like, all types of words. Like, words that I don't even know. Like, not words that I don't know, but like, words that I don't normally say. This is blasphemy. Outrageous. Uh, plutonium. Zinc. I was just saying shit. Nigga, I don't even, I ain't heard them words since uh, high school. I, mean, I was just saying anything because he was whooping his son's ass so bad. And to bring it all around, because I was like, how are they going to get out of this like omni man just in general stopping because his son tells him like i would still have you dad and then it shows you like bro he really do love his son even though he was just saying all that big shit you know what i'm saying i've been here for thousands of years you know i'm gonna give a fuck about y'all uh after only 17 years being here but i don't give a fuck about you or that or or or, or her you know what i'm saying fuck them both, both of y'all niggas but he really do you know what i'm saying you can even train a killer to be a killer, but he still got emotions. He still got one or two at least. You could take every emotion. Uh, you could try to take every emotion, but you're not going to get all of them. It's always going to be that one or two creeping around. Hey, you are kind of soft. Just a little bit. Even. You know what I'm saying? Even. The hardest of niggas. Emotions. Hard on sleeves. But. Back to this day. I'm just so hyped, bro. That, that, that episode was so live. If you wasn't looking at the episode like. Then I'm gonna need you to exit the video because me and you are not the same. We're not the same. Cause I'm telling you, it was live as hell. Oh man. Oh, but let me calm back down. Let me try to get a few more points out before we end this video. Another thing I like is that Invincible never gets any ass pulls. Like literally, if he if the person is stronger than him, he's just about to take a loss today. The man's name is no longer Invincible. It's uh Vincible. Nigga's name name very Vincible. That, that man's name is that when every time he fights somebody that's stronger than him. Very visible. That, that's, I'm telling you, they be on his ass every time. They do not care. They say, I don't care if you're a main character. Um, we're characters too. And to us, we are the main character. We got to whoop your ass. They do it every single time. I love it. I love it. There's no ass pulls. Even though I like ass pulls in anime sometimes, I like that Invincible set the tone. And they said, guess what? We're not pulling none of those. If you come out here and you're playing around, you're going to lose your life. I, I thought Adam Eve was going to come and try to fight uh, Omni-Man for Invincible, but even her, she said, Hell no, I'm not coming. I'm terrified. I know I'm going to lose my life because these writers are not playing with any Invincible characters. I really like that. That's amazing, and that's just another added point to Invincible, man. Everything about it is just really great. Um, Storyline, characters, uh, no plot holes, it seems like. I, I, I haven't seen any plot holes that I... <laughs> hmm... Brain blast. He has no plot holes at all. So, um, just it for the first season. Y'all niggas can say that I'm, um, that I'm an Invincible fanboy right now. And guess what? For the rest of today, the rest of Invincible Friday, I will be one. Sorry. I'm an Invincible fanboy. For the rest of the day. But nah, that's just great though. Good job to the writer. Good job to everybody involved. All the voice acting. The voice acting. Beautiful. The voice acting is beautiful. There's not one person I'll be like, does he sound like, no, like he sounds like everybody was casted beautiful. I pray to God I get an Invincible season two or three or something. I'm telling you, I'm gonna eat my person. Make me something like a little annoying dude or something like, bro, don't even give me no, 
super important. You can give me anybody, really. I'm a body anybody, you feel me? But hey, much love. And shit, I'm so hyped. I'm sorry I'm so hyped this whole video, bro. This is, this is more like a rant on Invincible of how great it is than it is a, a, a review. But go watch that. Go watch that. Alright. RDC World 1. 10 out of 10, right? Six stars? Ow! Crash, stay focused. You gotta crash like waves in the ocean.